So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do something like this, where you get your Falcon News logo or your CAMS logo or your splash screen and have it faded on top of this animated curved area. So it is as simple as this. You would import your picture from wherever you have it, Drive or your Downloads folder. Once it's in there, drop it on top, extend it to be the length of your studio, and then you would need to go in and relocate it. So double click it, use your transform and your move tools, and here's how you do that cool fade. When you're clicked on that clip, you're going to click on the second little pencil here. That's your opacity options. Click on that. Drag your beginning opacity down to something pretty low. Do the same percentage on the end so that way it is consistent the whole way through your video. Go ahead, play it. There it is. So you can go ahead and do something like this on one of your curved or angled animated backgrounds instead of choosing the rectangular one and dropping stationary pictures of the school or even the snow falling or seasonal things like that. So by knowing how to do this now with the opacity options that kind of opens up your options on what you can do with this project and even which virtual studios you can go ahead and use for this.